Since the start of eFootball 24, one of my favorite formations is becoming quite of a meta in a way. Let's talk about 4 triple 2. Alrighty, 4 triple 2. I've always liked 4 4 2. It's kind of my safe zone. But the way LMF and RMF moves on eFootball makes 4 4 2 flat with LMF and RMF a little bit difficult, especially when you can't consistently trust switching the ball from LMF and RMF, even with the 4 triple 2. Like, this is always my safe zone. I try to use something. I really get bored of using the meta 4213 because I face it a lot. So I would say right now, even in season five 3.40 update, I would say this system for triple two with quick counter. I'm not saying it doesn't work with long ball counter, but the frontline pressure and aggression at the moment, it, it's ridiculous in a way. Sitting back is not gonna help. What you gotta pay attention to, we're gonna cover players playing style, instructions, playing pattern, and just general gameplay variation now if you look at this team i got a defensive fullback which i mean we gotta use defense on a defensive fullback and anchoring on an anchor man sometimes you know because the defensive the dmf's ai movement has changed even an anchor man now goes horizontal in a way usually if you have an anchor man they always stay vertical so what you gotta pay attention to if you have a non-epic teams just pay attention to playing style i got a destroyer i got an orchestrator and I got two hole players. Now, two hole players with through passing, one touch passing. It's very, very important. You're going to end up with a lot of diagonal passes in these areas in a way. You will have vertical and horizontal diamond passing back and forth from DMF. If I can make that simple, you go from DMF, one, two with a striker and then switch. Or in another form, you give the ball back to the AMF back to the AMF again and go upper like a zigzag. So there are many patterns. Sometimes you got to recycle three, four times in a way. But what you got to pay attention to is this white triangle right here you have. And the most importantly is this width triangle on both sides. That is very, very important. You got to involve your AMF mainly. If you don't play for them, you're going to end up isolated with your two strikers. And at the moment, as I said, one touch pass through passing is very important for your AMF and ideally whole players or good dribblers. Now you don't have to go with Messi. Like if we talk about players playing style, you got to go ideally with a holding defensive midfielder. Somebody could be a destroyer, could be an anchor man, somebody that has the highest defensive ability. While you have a playmaker here who would simply support the attack and pick up the ball from the defense. A good box-to-box -box with defensive ability can work too. Instructions-wise, the only thing I use is defense on my left back. I don't like using counter-target because I like to press with my strikers uh, most of the time rather than using counter-target. Maybe if the opponent's playing quick counter, which kind of prevents me doing short passes in my own half due to the aggression. When you face an opposition that is on red game mentality, which is attack and not balance, especially playing quick counter, the whole point of aggression to force you or the game to make mistakes. And you're not supposed to play through the present. You try to find a way around it. Or sometimes you gotta do some pass back to find gaps. So there are so many variables into this. This is just a quick video regarding 4 triple 2. If you guys like it, I can make the second video in much more in-depth details. Even about training the players and so on. There is a reason why I'm not using destroyers here. I got Nesta, I got all the best center back epics in the game i prefer players without playing style or maybe build up but good ones like i don't find any um epic players uh with the with the build up that's gonna fit the system in a way like bergomi defensive fullback as a cb is not active defensive fullback he's an anchor man as a cb playing style is not active so when a playing style is not active the player's playing style becomes your tactic and tactic playing style which is quick counter because he's gonna move according to your tactic instead of acting like a destroyer pressing too much or a build-up who drops too much in a way, conservatively. So there's a reason behind selecting these players. Um, maybe ideally not use a lot of destroyers, for example. And as I said, in the midfield, it's important to have a playmaker and a solid DMF. Two-hole players. Up front, you must have somebody who is rapid, absolutely rapid. You know, a simple, fast player that could score a tap-in or I can just touch, turn, boom. But you got to have a very, very good dribble with, with him. Now, I get it. Probably if you have a team with not full of epics, you got to find certain players that, that can fit the bill 
to be a good dribbler beside a fast, rapid number nine, classic number nine finisher. And to be honest, we have a lot of free player of the week players who can fit the system. If you guys want, if you get a bunch of likes on this video, I make in the second video, I'm gonna make a four triple two video with normal standard cards even. So we covered the instructions, we covered the playing style. And as you can see in these clips in the background, it's important to play direct and fast. At the moment, the way the system is, you gotta know when to slow down. You gotta know when, when fast play is not working for you. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes fast play is working for the opponent. If he goes striking six precision accurate passes like glued on rail and you can hardly turn, whether it's delay or it's just the game balances it out, whatever reason it is, try to focus on how am I going to overcome this difficulty in a way instead of focusing on the problems that it might not help. The more, def the more balanced defensive version of this one Instead of whole player AMFs, you can use creative playmakers, or maybe you're leading 3 0 as minute 70. Maybe put on um, two creative playmakers as AMF, or even box to box CMFs on the flank to be a little bit more defensive. Personally, my uh, sub tactic it's pretty much 4 2 3 1. Usually, of course, I have to turn it on. Uh, second half, I put either Neymar or Liao who can play LMF. That's why I already have it like that. I don't switch to this one unless like minute 70 or 80 what I know I need to shut down a little bit. But yet, uh, it's very difficult still to trust defending in this game. And for those of you guys who really have epics, for example, a player like De Jong doing a much better job than Pirlo because he supports attack here a little bit more. He's a whole player with a great defensive ability. But as I said, you can replicate these playing style even with standard cards um, with their playing style and ability trained. As I said, the, whole, the solid holding defensive midfielder and the other one that helps attack and defense a little bit. So this was a quick video, just I've been meant to make this video for a while about 4 triple 2. Uh, let me know if you used it. Let me know if you have uh, certain squad building issues. Join our Discord. We can discuss that. We can help you. Join my live stream. Ask me questions on Twitter and comment down below if you use this system or have used it before or if you have a different team with different playing style. I like to learn too. What do you do differently? What kind of playing style do you use? Have you tried it with position or out wide or long ball counter? Comment down below and share it. I would like to know. We all learn from each other. But I can say 4 triple 2 is the deadliest and safest counter attacking setup than the, the usual meta of 4 2 1 3. Hope you guys find the video useful. Till next time.